Pittsburgh. Oh, look at that. Flame. <laughs> you lucky dog. You're in one mile, exit right, then turn left. <laughs> no, somebody had a sense of humor with that plane. Oh my goodness. I'm sure there's a story behind it. Maybe a plane crash and the guy survived, huh? That's the plane. Oi, oi, oi. I have not been here. Kevin has been here. Mm. Tight corner. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, so Kevin has picked up at the Lodge Cast Iron Distribution Center, not the factory, but you have to cross the bridge, but today we're not crossing the bridge, we're taking this tight corner and picking up from a company we don't know yet who they are, what they do, we got the name, your notebook. Where would it be? Here's your notebook, honey. Oi! It does not seem right. Huh? I don't see a sign that says something, something, gem. I do see a truck. It is paper. left. It's the building. Hmm. Go to the end, you'll be at the river. I don't want to go down there. I have to turn here. Open that door. See what's what. There's a tight entry there in this place. There's a load bar. This just looks like plastic recycling. Well, it's all the wrappers for whatever they do. I guess they. Yeah. Oh yeah, and hey, welcome everybody to the joy of trucking. Remember, if you like traveling with us and learning about trucking, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And today, you're going to get to see Kevin do something he hasn't done before. Stay tuned.
not good. You got a tool to fix that? I don't think so. It's you got bolts, duct tape. The bolts are hex head. Hmm. I think I can, I can get a handle on the, on the bolts, but I can get the nuts loose. I just hope I can get it tight enough again. I gotta send a message. Oh, so many things to do! And you just wanted to play! I just wanted to take a nap. Oh, is that what you do? Mud flaps hanging on by one bolt. Oh, the other three holes are all torn, so it's not like you can pull it back up and you know do it up again. It's torn, so it's garbage. And I picked up a spare mud flap when I got the truck because I know. Well, I sure hope I did. We switched trucks, didn't we? Yeah, because I know if you change it yourself, they'll give you some money and they'll save you going to a truck stop for four hours waiting to change one bloody mud flap. Right. You did have a mud flap. What happened to it? Let's go find it. That's the problem. What's I don't, the I don't problem? have one of those. Hmm? I don't have a star like that. X. It's difficult getting these out of because of that. Entered this method because you don't have the correct tool? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay. Good thing you have an engineering mind. Very mechanically inclined. Good problem solver. Some photos so I can prove I did this. I have to send this in probably to uh, probably to the office. To take yeah. a photo of this and me doing this, and yeah. then take a photo when I, I got a whole up. video, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Work it, baby. And we did find the mud flap that he thought he had. We had it underneath the bottom bunk. So there it is. Good to carry a spare. And where did you get it? The terminal when I got the truck. Ah, good stuff.
Thanks for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed riding with us and watching Kevin change a mud flap. That was a first. So, hey, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Put your comments and questions below. Have you changed a mud flap before? Have you gone up Mont Eagle Mountain on I-24 West? <laughs> Share your thoughts with us. We love reading them. And if you like traveling with us and discovering the worlds of America and learning about trucking, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. We hope you have a great day. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.